Welcome to Board Game Casual, where all month long we're celebrating with our one year anniversary extravaganza. Over the channel's first year, I've posted more than 100 videos and shorts. So in this video, I thought it would be fun to take a look back at the top five most popular videos on the channel in terms of views. And then I'll share my personal top five videos that I wish got a little more love. Hey, that's two top five videos for the price of one. The most popular video on the channel by a landslide is the video sharing my method for connecting two IKEA Calyx shelves together using the stock mounting points. This doesn't come as much of a surprise to me. For one, it's one of my oldest videos, so it's had a lot more time to gather views. More importantly though, I figured this video would appeal to a wider audience than just board gamers. While Calyxes seem like they were made for board games, they're a popular option for anyone looking for an affordable, good-looking shelf. The second most popular video on the channel is my review of the budget game mat I got from Amazon. This is another one of my oldest videos, so it's had an advantage from that standpoint, but continues to be one of the most watched videos day to day. I'm really glad people are finding that video useful and hopefully is an option to get a great mat for a really great price. I always thought I'd have to spend hundreds on a custom game mat before it dawned on me to check Amazon. And of course, when I was shopping, I had to buy it blind since I couldn't find any video reviews on that mat. So I really hope that this video helps others learn more about the mat before they buy. That game mat is still probably the best board game accessory I've ever purchased. Number three kind of surprises me, which is looking back at the first five games I played after Catan. I'm really glad this one is so popular. I had a ton of fun making it, but wasn't sure if people would be all that interested in hearing me talk about a bunch of old games. I was in a Catan shell for such a long time before discovering all the other games out there. My hope is that this video reaches people in the same position, trying to figure out how best to branch out and maybe what games are still worth it by today's standards. The fourth most popular game on the channel is the top five board game accessory purchases in 2023. People seem to like lists, and man, I got so many good accessories and upgrades last year, I was really excited to share my favorites. I especially love finding cheap metal coins as upgrades for games that blend in as if they were stock. It's one of my favorite things to do and one of my favorite upgrades to buy. So hopefully I turn some folks on to those dragon coins and those gold doubloons I found last year. And finally, the fifth most popular video on the channel is how to make cards for your board game, part one. I'm very, very happy that an episode of Design Diaries is one of the top five most popular videos on the channel. Although to be honest, I'm surprised it's not the episode about making professional looking prototype dice, which I thought was a little more unique since I've never seen anyone make them like I do. I suppose there are a lot more people out there that are just starting out looking for how to design cards than dice. I'm very proud of the Design Diaries series. It feels really good to contribute back anything that I've learned and maybe help out some folks who are just starting out. And it keeps me excited and motivated about my own designs. So it really means a lot to me when these videos do well. All right, so shifting to the top five videos that I personally wish got a little more love. Quick note, I'm not putting the more recent videos in this list. Because they're so new, they still need time for me to get a real sense of their popularity. I will say though that the top five game night accessories and the top five over the top game night accessories videos are by far some of my personal favorites that I've made. And I had a ton of fun stepping out of the box a little bit with the pitching five terrible game ideas video and making something a little more humorous. That video in particular took a lot of work mocking up all the fake game boxes and things, so I really hope people like that one. I'd love to maybe do more things like that in the future. All right, so the top five videos I wish got more love. I'm gonna do these in countdown order. 
Coming in number five, I'm gonna put two videos in here, and those are the 500 subscriber celebration and the 1,000 subscriber celebration channel talk videos. For the sole reason that I really hope people who watch and subscribe can hear how much that means to me, how much the channel means to me, and how appreciative I am. I honestly feel like I can't say thank you enough. Number four is the video on my Nerds Day haul from 2023. I know unboxing videos aren't all that popular, and even I was someone who used to be skeptical about Nerds Day flash type sales. But I had a lot of fun telling my story of participating in Nerds Day for the first time and tried to keep it entertaining in this video. Number three is ranking four new games I played this weekend, where I put four quick game reviews together and not only scored them, but ranked the games against each other. This one surprises me that it doesn't have more views, considering that a very similar video, ranking eight games from an epic weekend of gaming, has four times as many views. Maybe people are just more interested in the games in that video, or maybe that video just got a little more lucky catching the algorithm. The ranking four new games I played this weekend video is a little more unique, as it's the only video where I include not only my own ranking of the games, but the ranking from my girlfriend and my buddy Andrew who were there that weekend as well. And in terms of games, it includes one of the biggest surprises of the year, The Hunger, which for my tastes is a bit of a clank killer, and also a front runner for the best new to me game of the year, Mosaic. Number two is the video on how I made my LED medieval torches. I know this one isn't directly board game related and is more board game adjacent, but I was just so proud of these torches I made and was excited to show them off. They came out so great. And to this day, there are still so many people I talk to that don't even know those flame bulbs exist. So I think it's pretty cool and worth checking out. And the number one video I wish got more love, the April Fool's video. Silly, of course it was, but it was really fun making it and I think it's a great inside joke. It's only about a minute long. Kudos to my girlfriend for the idea and being such a great sport. My favorite part are the bloopers at the end. If you're a fan of the channel at all, go check that video out. So there you have it, the five most popular videos on the channel and my top five that I wish got a little more love. Maybe go back and check out any of those videos that you might have missed. So what's been your favorite board game casual video? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear if it's any of these or maybe if it's something different. Thank you so much for watching and being part of our one year anniversary celebration. We've got a lot more videos on the way. And hey, just as a reminder, I'm really hoping to close out the one year anniversary extravaganza with a video of viewer Q&A. But in order to make that happen, I need your questions. Please put any questions you have for me down in the comments or email them to me at boardgamecasual at gmail.com and I'll give you a shout out and answer them in the final video. Thank you again, thanks for liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.